I'm going to sue you and this whole damn city if you even think about Chandler's insane idea about demolishing my house. Do you hear me? Unbelievable. JR is threatening to get back at me by ripping down my house. If I would have known, I would have brought my wrecking ball and helped him out. What's your problem? Not what, who. Because of you, David, I lost my one chance to get to the truth. A truth that could save my marriage and Ryan. Wake up. Look, no, brother, that time's over. It's not dead. <laughs> it's me. Oh, it's, it's Ryan. Hey, what's going on? It's over. Oh. Jonathan, I'm going to put you away. That's right. You opened up to me last night. You don't remember? I know what you did. You poisoned my wife. That truth serum that Kendall and I got from you? <laughs> I recall being purposely vague about why we needed that stuff. There was a reason for that. I was trying to send a message. Don't ask, butt out. None of your business. So why'd you run to Ryan and tell him about it? I thought he was the one you were using it on. If Ryan was lying to you or cheating on you, I was going to straighten him out. I told you a million times, David, stay out of my marriage. Ryan would never hurt me. Yeah, well, obviously things aren't all peaches and cream in Lavery Land. Or you wouldn't be so mad that I blew your cover. No, it was none of your business. I told you I would handle it. I was worried about you, Greenlee. What do you expect? I expect you to turn a blind eye. You've been pretty good at that lately. What is that supposed to mean? I came to you for help months ago when you were too busy running interference with that skanky, baby-napping daughter of yours. Don't talk about babe like that. I don't remember you asking for my help. I came here to see you in this about-to-be-tinder cabin. I told you I wasn't feeling like myself. You promised to check me out. Ring any bells? Probably not, since I never heard from you again. Oh, but don't feel bad. I only went crazy, almost threw myself off Fusion's rooftop, and ended up in a psych ward. You what? Yeah, I was being poisoned by Ryan's brother. I'm positive. Oh, my God. Hard to believe? Yeah, you're not the only one. Ryan refuses to accept it. I was going to use that truth serum on Jonathan, but then you had to butt in, tip Ryan off, and, and Ryan showed up just as Jonathan was about to confess. Wait, no, wait, are you telling me that Ryan wouldn't even let you ask his psycho brother the million-dollar question? Oh, no. He was mad as hell. He got his brother out of there before he could say another word. And now, thanks to you and your big mouth, I'll never get the truth out of Jonathan. Finally told me the truth last night, Jonathan. I know. I know what you did to my wife. I have no idea what you're talking about, Ryan. You forgot. You forgot that you opened up. What you told me about the old man and the death games and that he tortured you and he made you believe that you could be killed any moment. You forgot that? I, uh, I told you about that? Yes, you did. And it's sick. What he did to you. And I get that it messed with your head. I get that. But it is no excuse for what you did to my wife. She, she almost died. She could have died. Ryan, I have no idea what you're talking about right now, all right? I... I had a date with Simone. I went to Fusion to pick her up. We had a bottle of red wine. And right, mixed we... with the drug. There's a drug in the wine. What? It makes people tell the truth. There's some sort of truth serum. Truth serum? Yes. What? Compliments of David Hayward. Hayward? Hayward spiked my drink. What does Hayward have against me? Nothing. He supplied the drug. Greenlee is the one that used it on you. So she's back to crazy again? No. She did what she had to do to get you to tell the truth. And the truth is, is that you poisoned her. You believe that? All the time she came to me and she tried to convince me that it was you. And what did I do? I turned my back on her because my brother would never do something that twisted to the woman I love. I, I was so sure. Let me speak. I was so sure that you were innocent, that I didn't even keep you away from her. Now, can you imagine how scared she would be spending time with the man that she knew poisoned her? Meanwhile, her husband, the guy that is supposed to protect her all the time, wouldn't see the truth. It makes me nauseous. Right, listen to me. You've got it all wrong. Guess what? You... Stop. Because the drug has worn off. Jonathan, you can't change your story now. You've already confessed. So, now, you 
fill in the blanks. Were you just trying to drive my wife crazy? Or were you trying to kill her? Okay, Brian, listen to me. Okay, you're mad. I get that. I didn't try to kill your wife. Okay? I didn't do anything to Greenlee. Ryan, you have to believe me. I did believe you. I believed you over my own wife. I mean, all the times I had your back, what was that for? For what? You lied to my face. No, Ryan, you're wrong. I asked you last night, I asked you if my own brother poisoned my wife, and you said yes. I didn't poison anyone, Ryan. do this to me, man. I mean, I was happy that you were back in my life. You were back around again. I thought we were tight. I mean, I knew you had your problems, all right? But I, I had your back. No matter what, and not for one second would I ever imagine that my brother, my own brother, could turn on me like this. Ryan, I didn't turn on you, man. I would never turn on you, Ryan. Please, I didn't do this. I want the truth now, all of it, right now. Jonathan is one sick lavery. Yeah, well, until I can prove he drugged me, he's going to keep getting away with it. Why wasn't he thrown in jail after what he did to Bianca? If he wasn't jailed for smacking Maggie, I don't see how scaring the life out of Bianca would stick. That bastard hit Maggie? You didn't know? I figured that was one of the reasons she left town. What? When did that happen? Maggie never said a word to me. Wow. Guess it's true. What goes around comes around. What is that supposed to mean, Greenlee? You're getting a taste of your own medicine, David. I guess your cousin wasn't eager to confide in you after you helped Babe keep Bianca's baby. This is unbelievable. How the hell could I have missed all this? What are you doing? I may have been out of the loop for a while, but now my eyes are wide open. Jonathan Lavery's not gonna hurt you, Maggie, or Bianca, or anybody else ever again. I want to do this, Jonathan, because guess what? I'm not going anywhere until you tell me why you're after Greenlee. Ryan, right for the hundredth time, I didn't go after... This is my wife that we're talking about here. You understand that? I would do anything in my power to protect her. So, two choices. You tell me willingly, or I will get it out of you, brother or no brother. Ryan, right, come on. Right. How could you look me in the eye every day and tell me that you look up to me while you were slowly destroying right. the one woman that meant more to me in the whole world? I want the truth! Ryan, right, let's go! Yeah. Your brother did poison in Greenlee. It wasn't me. Ryan, it was Brayden. Brayden did it. I said, give it to me. God, David, you can't just give Jonathan a lethal drug to make up for lost time. Just relax, all right? I wasn't gonna kill the freak. I was just gonna deaden his psychopathic tendencies. How about you let me handle it? No, that request is all played out, Greenlee. And it's not like it's gotten you very far. Oh, and these whacked concoctions that you come up with, they've gotten you so far. You know something, you're absolutely right. I've got nothing left to lose. My MD license is gone. I can't use my talents to heal sick people, but I can use them to protect the people that I love, which is exactly what I intend to do. Well, I don't need you protecting David. Oh. Not anymore. All right, come on, Greenlee, don't say that. You're right, I checked out for a while, but I'm trying to make up for it now. You blabbed to Ryan about the truth serum. When I was losing my mind, you were too busy aiding and abetting Babe. Worst of all, you turned your back on my family when you turned on Bianca. You don't think I hate what I put Bianca through? You feel bad after the fact. Well, it's too late. Doesn't make me want to forgive and forget. You kept a baby from her mother. That's unforgivable. You're right. You're right. It was a terrible thing to do. But it's done, and I can't take it back. So can we please just move forward? No. I can't even pretend that I still feel the same way about you. I shouldn't have come to you for that truth juice. It was just a moment of desperation. I should have known I couldn't depend on you, but I guarantee it won't happen again. I'm trying to make things right here, Greenlee. And for the gazillionth time, stop trying, David. I don't need your help with Jonathan. I don't want you involved in my life anymore. 
It's over, David. Thanks for nothing. I don't believe this. Right, I know it sounds insane, even ridiculous, but Braden poisoned Greenlee. You have the nerve to stand there and lie to my face. You even throw Braden in the mix? It's not only lame, it's stupid. Ryan, I... God, you gotta believe me. I wish it weren't true, man, Braden but it... disappeared, like, what, five years ago? He was a pariah in this town. If he showed up for one second, he'd be lynched. Stop lying. I didn't want to tell you about this, man. I tried to keep it from you. I want it... the truth! Don't look at me that way. So Dad used to look at me, Ryan. Don't look at me that way. Don't look at me like you hate me. Right now, I'm damn close, Jonathan. What do I do? I can't take this, Ryan. Man, I can't risk losing you. Ryan, you're all I have left, man. Okay, 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 okay. I have to tell you about Braden. I've got to tell you everything. This ought to be good. Braden looked me up last year, a few months before I came to Pine Valley. I woke up in the middle of the night, and someone's sitting on the edge of my bed. I freak out, I jump up, I turn the lights on, and there he was. He snuck into my apartment through an open window. He'd definitely been drinking, and he was not stable. He said he'd been in Canada, he'd been living hand to mouth, and that he'd been hospitalized there, and that they'd put him on some kind of antipsychotic, but he didn't like the way it made him feel, and he took himself off it. And Ryan, it was the same antipsychotic that they found in Greenlee's system. Wow. Jonathan, I gotta give you a little bit of credit here. This, this is a good story. You actually put a lot of effort into this story. Ryan, I hadn't seen Brain in years, man. I knew he came to me wanting something. Okay, I'll play along. What was he doing there? That's the, that's the worst part. He came to me asking me what I knew about my big brother, Ryan, because he had been in the papers and read that you just inherited Cambius Industries. And he said that you didn't deserve anything after what you'd done to him. Oh, no, you see, that's where your story breaks down, Jonathan, because I protected Braden. I took a rap for him. He said you turned your back on him, like everybody else in Pine Valley and that it was time for you to pay, and he was going to take you out. And that, Ryan, is why I really came to Pine Valley to try to stop Braden and talk some sense into him. I hoped I could get him some help, and I wanted to save you at the same time. Okay, let's say for just one second that I believe your story. If he was after me, then why did he poison Greenlee? Because you didn't die when he shot you. Zach Slater already admitted to both shootings, Jonathan. I don't know why, Brian, because I... I know for a fact that he didn't do it. This is insane. You dreamed this up. You're even more twisted than I thought. Listen to me, Ryan. I know that Zach didn't do it because I watched your brother shoot you at the casino. You what? I tried to stop it, Brian. I tried to stop it, man. I swear I did. I'm still trying to stop it, man, but Brain won't give up. I what is this? It was slipped under my door the other night. It's from Brain. me to believe that this is from Braden. Read it, and you'll see. Jonathan, quit getting in my way. Ryan's going to die, and you're not going to stop me. Ryan, don't, man. Don't. It could be Braden. 